Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this video for WordPress, we're going to be checking out the commercial plugin CSS Hero. Now for full disclosure, I've been sponsored by CSS Hero to put this demo together and I'm going to give you an overview of what this plugin does and how we can make your development of WordPress so much easier and quicker. So let's check it out now. So firstly, what exactly is CSS Hero? Well, it's a new add-on or plugin for WordPress, and what it allows you to do is configure and tweak the CSS for the theme that you're working with. Now, if you're not familiar with CSS, this is a great way of visually being able to tweak and adjust and customize every aspect of the layout, the style of the text, all those different elements that'll take you above and beyond what the theme itself allows you to do. So this is great if you really want to get in and tweak and customize everything. Even if you're a developer and you're accustomed to working with CSS, this is definitely going to give you a tool that's invaluable when it comes to speeding up the process of developing and customizing your WordPress-based websites. So let's take a look at how we actually use it in a development site. So once you've installed and licensed your copy of CSS Hero, you're going to find you've got this new entry at the top of the toolbar inside the admin section of WordPress. If we click on that, that'll jump us over to the front page of the site and that'll load in CSS Hero. So you can see we're now looking at the home page and we've got this new toolbar on the right hand side. Now this toolbar allows us to do a range of different things. We can customize and target the different CSS elements on our page. We can go in and preview what our layout's going to look like on various different devices and a whole range of other things. For this demo, we're going to concentrate on those two key areas, how to change the CSS and how to view it on different devices. So if we take a look at the first option, you can see we've got this target tool. And for this example, I'm using the free Generate Press theme. So you can download that and you can follow along exactly what I'm doing. And this is a great starter theme with a lot of customizability. And the fact that you can use CSS Hero with it natively means that you've got a even more control over how your layout looks. So with this target tool, we can click on that. That'll activate it and bring this option up you'll see that when we take our mouse over any of these different options, we now start to get this information placed around the actual item we're working with. So for example, the body text, the header, and so on. Click on that, you can see what that does is it opens up on the right hand side all the different elements that we can go through and fine tune. So at the moment, we're looking at this element and the blue bar denotes all the different CSS styles or different tags that have been associated with this specific element. If we take a look on the right hand side, as we mouse over, you can see each one of these highlights as we move over. And these are all the related CSS elements in the stack going back through. So it allows us to choose and fine tune and tweak whichever element we want. So let's just say we want to deal with the article entry title link. We can click on that. That will now open up all the options we can configure and tweak using CSS Hero. So, for example, if we want to change the text, we can simply expand that out, and that gives us a whole range of options to configure and tweak the text. Now, you're not limited to doing everything that's inside this dialog box. Some things can't be done natively, and they would be warned, and then you give them the option to go and make some changes to the way that the actual layout is created, which allows you to then make those CSS changes. We'll take a look at that in a little bit more detail in a moment. For now, let's just take a look at how quick and easy it is to start changing the styles. So let's just say, for example, we want to alter the font size. We can simply use the slider, and you can see that the CSS Hero title expands. Now, we're not limited to doing that because you'll see anything else on the page that uses the same CSS styling and the same tag will automatically be updated accordingly. So even though we targeted the CSS Hero at the top, where we've got another article that uses the same tag, you can see that's adjusted simultaneously. So we know any element that's changing, that'll be referenced throughout the entire site that uses that specific CSS tag. So again, we've got things like the font size, the font family, the color. So we can easily come in, change the color of that. You can see that reflects automatically right in front of us. So we can see immediately any changes we're making. So we can just easily configure and fine tune and so on. So once we've done that, we're happy with that. We can come down, choose different options. So we can come down, choose the font weight if we want to. So as long as the font supports different weights, we can choose that. So we can say lighter or bold or normal. And you'll see now that that also brings up this little red square with the exclamation mark in it. Now what that is, that's the important tag. So if you're accustomed to working with CSS, if you want to override the style that's being used in the hierarchy, for example, with your theme, 
then you need to tag it with important at the end. And as you can see, a CSS hero is doing that automatically when we make a change that requires that to be done. So you don't need to worry too much about that being done, but you can, if you want to, easily click and enable that yourself or disable it. So you've got that option there should you need it. So if you're not seeing the changes reflected, that may well be the reason why. Again, just really cool that it's got that built in, so we don't need to worry about dealing with that. So all those different options, line heights and so on, we can adjust all that kind of thing. Same, if we come down and target the actual body text, you can see now that changes to a range of different options. We can come down and choose the article, the CSS, for the actual content of the text itself. We can come down, and again, we can change this, so we can say, well, we want to use a larger font size or a smaller font size. We can adjust text decorations so we can underline everything. We can change it to uppercase. We can turn any of those on and off quite quickly and easily. Now, if we come down and say we want to change the text alignment, we can click on that. You can see that changes. However, let's just come back up to the heading and target that. And let's do the same thing on this. So let's come back down to the text. And let's say we want to center that. Now you can see that doesn't happen, and the reason being is because the element, the way this is laid out, doesn't allow for centering. But what CSS Hero does is it pops up and says, well you need to change this display mode to block, and then we can do what you want. Do you want us to do it for you? If we say OK, that now takes us to that relevant section inside the control panel for this particular element and allows us to then change it. So we know the block needs to be updated. As you can see, we've got this red dotted line, not only around the element that we need to change, but also what needs to be changed inside that element to get the adjustment to work. Pretty cool. Click on block. Now we can center align our text. All very simple and straightforward. And like I say, the fact that CSS Hero gives you those visual prompts and makes it easy, just... If you're the kind of person that's new to this side of things, you know, developing with CSS and tweaking, this is going to be worth its weight in gold to you and such a time saver. So there's some of the first things we can do, and that's just some simple elements dealing with the text. So this next example, you can see that we're no longer going to be limited to just dealing with the text. I've now inserted an image into the same article. And what I'm going to do is just target that information. So we'll just enable CSS Hero click to activate it, and you now see, again, like before, we've got all of the different CSS tags in there that we can start editing. So let's just say we want to deal with the contents of the image. We can come down and we can do various different things. Obviously, text is not related to what we're trying to do at the moment because we're dealing with this image. So what we can do is we can come down and we can do things like the border. So let's just come into that, and you can see we've got a range of different options available in there. So we can say, let's put a border in there. So we can just adjust the border width. We can adjust the style of the border. We can adjust the color of the border. So we can fine tune and tweak this to our heart's content. Again, we can adjust this on an individual basis. So in, we don't want to have all the border sides to be exactly the same. And then we can adjust that independently. So you can see we can get quite creative with the way this actually displays. So we can tweak this and get it exactly how we want it to look. So we want to make it look like a pole ride, for example. We could do that kind of effect on there. Once we finish, we can just jump back. So we can do other things. We can have border radiuses, for example. So we can adjust those things. So we can now curve off the edges of the borders. If we want to, again, we can do all border radius, or we can just do individual ones. So let's just take that off, and let's just say the top left. So you can see that now curves the top left, while all the rest remain intact. So pretty cool that we could adjust those independently. And again, like I say, this is all visual. So we're not having to worry about doing this through any kind of coding side of things. We can jump back in. We can adjust any of the other elements that are relevant to that. Now, if we didn't want to go through back and forth through this, so we want to see all the different options we have available to tweak the element or elements that we're working with, we can just use the All option. And once we do that, you can see that now opens up all of the different options we have available to us to tweak and configure this particular CSS element or definition. As you can see, a lot. So it's pretty cool that we don't need to have to go through and back and step forwards and backwards and forwards to get exactly what we want. Now let's just say that we're happy with the alterations we've made. The next thing we can do is we can hit save on there. That will save the changes we've made. We can now go and take a look what it's going to look like on a different device. So for example, we might see, well, what's this going to look like on a tablet in portrait view? Well, we can click and we'll now see it displayed so we can see exactly what it's going to look like. We can 
actually use the site as if we're dealing with this on a tablet. Again, if we want to try that now on a tablet in landscape view, we can do exactly the same thing. So we can see what that looks like. Or we want to come down and view it on a phone in tablet view. We can see exactly what it's going to look like. And you can see all the different elements now work as you'd expect them to on a mobile device. So it's a great way to be able to come in and tweak and adjust. Now, the other nice thing you can deal with with this is you can actually target different devices for different CSS definitions. So let's just jump back to be in full view. Let's come back up to this. And we're going to come down and we're going to choose an element on there. So let's just say we want the article content image again. And we'll come down and we'll say we want to adjust the size, for example. Now you can see that you've got these little symbols. At the moment, they're saying desktop only. So this is saying this applies specific edit only on desktops. So we can easily adjust these things by targeting the device that's being used on. So let's take a look at a practical example of that now. I've got the image selected and we're going to come to the content image and what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a different border for the different device. So we click on border and what we're going to do is we're going to come down and we're going to target the actual border color. So let's find that on there. And what we're going to do before we change that is to set this desktop only option. So we'll click on that. We'll change the color of this to red, for example. And then once we've done that, we'll hit save. So what we're saying is on a desktop, we want to have a red border, but when we change to a different device, we want that border to be back to what it was originally. So you can see that that changes based upon the device that's being used. So we go back to a desktop and the red border comes back. So you can use that basic conditional logic for it to look at what device is being used on and have different things happen, which is pretty cool. Now, another useful feature on here is the ability to go back through your history. So as you make save changes, it's going to store that history state so you can jump back and test other previous versions of the layout that you're working with. So if we come over to the toolbar on the right hand side and we come down to this sort of refresh arrow, that's your history. Once that, that pops out, you can see we've got the dates and the times of all of the times we've saved this particular file that we're working with. And as you can see, we've got the option to either delete it or activate it. So we can come back down, let's go right back to the beginning, and we'll come back down there and we'll say, let's activate the first one. So we'll click on that, and that'll take it back to exactly as it was before we started making any of the changes to it. If we want to come back up there, we've got the CSS hero again, re-invoke that. Once that's brought back up on screen, we can start editing with CSS hero again. And you can see our history states are still in there, so we can come back in and activate it to a different state. So you can see, very quick and easy and very useful for the ability that we can make some changes. If we don't like them, we can jump back without losing those changes. So it's a great way of being able to test design changes, especially if you've got a client, you want to sort of show them the various different iterations of what you've done. Pretty cool. So before we wrap this demo up, there's one more little thing that I want to show you. And that's the fact that you're not limited to just dealing with the elements on the page, such as the text, the images, and so on. We can get in and we can configure a lot more of what WordPress has to offer. So let's take these widgets on the right-hand side as an example. Let's just say I want to change the background color of those. That's not necessarily very easy to do inside WordPress itself. However, with CSS Hero, it's pretty painless. So again, we'll just invoke the editor come over, choose the element we want, which is this particular recent posts widget, for example, we'll click on that. You can see now we've got the four different div or container elements selected, and we can go through and choose exactly what we want. So we've got the right sidebar widget, the right sidebar itself, the entire sidebar, the site container, which is the overall container of the, the site content, and the site background. For this example, we're going to go for the sidebar widget, so we'll click on that. And now we can come back in and we've got all the same options we had previously, but we can do some pretty cool things. Let's just say we want to change the background color. Well, we can click on background, click on the color option, and we can start tweaking that. And you can see now that that picks up all the different widgets on the right hand side, because they all use the same CSS definition, are all now being changed. So again, really cool. If you want to put a gradient in there, we can do that. We want to put an image in there, we could do that. We can come back in and choose the repeat for the background image and so on and any kind of scroll effects and things. So that's pretty cool. If we want to, we could come back in and say, let's apply a border to that as well. So let's just say we want to apply a two pixel border. We'll leave it as a nice dark color on there, for example, and we'll just jump back out of that. And let's say, let's put a border radius on there and we'll have the same border radius on all of them. So we'll add that in there. And suddenly we've now configured and tweaked those elements as well. So you can see that just by using this simple interface in CSS Hero gives you 
almost infinite possibilities of de dealing with the actual layout of your website itself and configuring and tweaking all those different things without needing to understand a single line of CSS. So anyway, that's my demo of CSS Hero. That's barely scratched the surface of what it can do, but it should give you an understanding of the kind of power that's available to you in this simple to use interface. If you did like it, check out the links in the description below where you can go and purchase your copy of CSS Hero and any of the add-ons that are associated with it. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. If you have any comments or questions on this video or anything else we cover on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. Until next time, take care.